Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Uh, if you're a Newcastle fan, you're probably enjoying your Monday because yesterday, it's almost 24 hours exactly since the final whistle blew and Newcastle beat Aston Villa 1-0. Three wins in a row, doesn't happen very often. In fact, the last time it happened was four years ago. Uh, so I have to say, I did go out and celebrate it last night and I did wake up a little bit more hungover than I normally like to be on a Monday. But, um, <laughs> you've got to enjoy it, uh, absolutely. And I should say as well, happy Valentine's Day to all of my fantastic subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, then hit the button and then happy Valentine's Day to you as well. Um, as I say, I will be back tomorrow for two Tuesdays where we'll go through a proper review of everything that went on in yesterday's game. But I just thought, you know what? Let's enjoy it, let's get on, do a video, have a little talk about it. Um, obviously there was one negative to the game yesterday, so we'll start with that. Um, Kieran Trippier. Uh, it was a late fitness test to start with, so, so we weren't sure whether he was going to play anyway. He did play, he scored the goal, so it was definitely worth playing him for that kind of magic. But he did go off injured, uh, he was spotted on crutches wearing a Rudy boot, and it's now been confirmed that he will be out for six to eight weeks, which is a massive, massive blow for us. Um, what I will say, you know, um, is that, you know what, let's start from the beginning. I knew it was gonna be a tough game yesterday. Aston Villa have got some very good players. Coutinho, especially, was one I was quite worried about. It's funny, you know, someone commented on my vlog saying they love the video, so that's, that's fantastic, but I need to be more positive. And you know what, maybe I do. I think uh, I've been a Newcastle fan for a long time and there always hasn't been a, a lot to be positive about. I think my ultimate worry is that I don't want to get too excited too soon. We are four points above the drop zone right now, but there is still a lot of games to go. Uh, and as much as I'll enjoy and celebrate every win that we get, uh, I'll, I'll get the champagne out when the season ends and we'll finish anywhere from 17th upwards. But as I say, we're being positive in today's video. Um, fantastic win. And again, well, first of all, as I say, three wins in a row, two wins in a week, both at St. James's Park. I mean, you can't ask for too much more than that. Obviously, the Everton game was a fantastic game, scoring plenty of goals lot to be excited about. Yesterday's game was very different. And it's funny because Eddie Howe actually spoke about this in his press conference about the fact that it was a different game, but there was almost something very satisfying about getting that over the line and getting that one nil win. Because you know what? Six months ago, that's the game we lose. Six months ago, that's the game where things don't go our way. We lose our nerve and we don't get the three points so we'll come out with a draw and we should have won you know that was a massive problem for us and and that was something that the players themselves were were questioned on a lot was uh commitment to the cause the effort they were putting in i don't think you can question any of that to be honest from yesterday it was it was top quality effort and, and, and if you're getting that at the very minimum that's all you can ask for but that's what that just that grit to actually push it over the line and take those three points was, you know, almost as satisfying as seeing us score three goals, you know? Um, I mean, the game yesterday, I thought, in, in, in possession-wise, I think Aston Villa had the better, better part of possession. I think they had about 65%. I think, you know, that a lot of that was near the end of the game when they were really pushing to try and get back into it. But, you know, first half, you know, I didn't want the first half to end because I thought we were really on top. We'd got the goal, we were pushing for another, came out second half um, without Trippier and, and they started better than we did. They really did and they were going for it and they got the goal that we got saved by VAR. I still haven't even seen the replay to be fair. A friend of mine um, was, was in the pub watching it before I went and met him after the game and he said we're, we're, we're lucky to be honest. I think it was one of them where the two lines are literally on top of each other. Um, 
But that was it. So we came out in the second half. And I don't know, is it because we were missing trip here? Or what? But people have got to take account. People have got to step up. And it is unfortunate that it basically took a disallowed goal for us to go, hang on a second. We need to get into gear here um, and see this game out. And it was after that disallowed goal that we stepped it up. And, 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 and it's funny again, because as I say, being one of them games where, we, we, like, in the past, we would have buckled. We would have let in a goal. I wasn't that, I wasn't, obviously it's always worrying watching Newcastle going into the end of any game, but it felt different. I think we look more composed. Um, and as I say, even the players who were coming on the pitch were doing what they needed to do. Um, and it's a fantastic three points. As I say, four points ahead of the drop zone now. Um, it's the last game at St. James's Park for a while now. I think we've got two away games in a row. If I'm not mistaken, there's a there's a blank week in the middle as well. I don't know if that's for the international break or a cup that we're not in. Um, but yeah, that'll be the last one at St. James's Park for a while. So <laughs> I'm glad we've got the points. Um, as I say, let me know what you thought of it down below. Um, the negative, obviously, is no trip yet. But I think Mankiewicz has been doing himself all right. Um... Craft worried me a couple of times. You know, the ball coming into him, where he could, he could bring it down, take a touch, calm things down. Again, that's what someone like Trippier really brings to our side. Yes, the free kicks is always going to help, but just the, the calm, take a deep breath. And as I say, even though he wasn't on the pitch, there was I felt like the players stepped up and, and had that calm. And you've got to assume that's a lot of the Eddie Howe coaching as well of what we want to do. Again, under the previous management, last 10 minutes, hoofing it away, getting worried. There was, there was, it felt way calmer going into the end of that game. And that's, it's what we need. You know, we are, we're in a tough place right now. We're fighting relegation. But you've got to do your best to just take that deep breath. And as I say, that's exactly what Trippier does. Craft comes on and obviously doesn't have the same composure. But you know what? He, he, he got into it. He did all right. And it's looking like it's probably going to be Mankio right back this weekend now. Um, or at least that's who I would probably put there. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Who do you think should be playing in that right back position? I think Mankio's done himself pretty proud the last few games. So for me, it would be him. But yeah, I'm going to end it there. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Trippier situation. As I say... It's not just the free kicks, it's what he brings to the side. And I'm just hoping that we can also just, we can just carry on that same mentality, that same effort, that same ambition, and just see where we we'll go from here. But thank you for watching. As always, drop a like, subscribe. Enjoy your night. Um, thank you for watching. More videos this week, as always. And I'll catch you later.